hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we have another one piece reaction review this time it's chapter uh, 1072 titled the weight of memory uh pfft, yeah i i'm having a hard time coming up with things to say in these the start of these videos because just so much is happening uh pfft, i i don't even know i just i just want to get into this chapter honestly this time let's just get into it uh i'm trying to think i <laughs> i was about to say i was spoiled on something but i actually it was something very very minor it was just like a, like I can't even remember anymore so I don't it's not even a spoiler but like I don't know I, I I would want to inform you guys if I have a spoiler even if it's super minor just so you guys know but uh, this time it's I don't even remember what I saw it was just like maybe a character or something that was significant so uh okay German 66 cold blood voyage mass producing deadly weapons and this is interesting now we're getting like backstory stuff we have like a young Caesar a yeah, that's judge. Yeah, that's judge, and that's qu queen. Yeah, that's queen. Okay, I don't. I don't know if we've seen the young versions of uh, any of these guys, so I don't know. I had a hard time recognizing them, except for Caesar. Caesar's like very obvious, but yeah, yeah, they're making s smile fruit, or I don't know if they're t called smile fruits at this point because there's a difference between like the smile fruits and like the ones Vegapunk creates. But they're making double fruits. It looks like. Because that's what Caesar's holding. Hmm. All right. Okay, so starting off. I get where I get. Okay. Even if the world does not accept how she came to be, the girl is unmistakably he human. It was accept success. What the heck? Uh, I bear witness to this achievement. And I maintain that it is a huge step toward world peace. Uh, okay, that was by Dr. Vegapunk, Chief of Mads, the Laboratory of Peace. Okay. <laughs> is this okay wait is this okay i i thought they i almost said oh is this in the past because we're seeing a young bonnie but i obviously bonnie's power is to turn people young change their age and stuff like that okay so she's crying it hurts i think i broke something okay there's vegapunk bonnie dear me are you all right medics look alive bonnie's hurry bonnie's been injured oh yeah she's not having it oh wait what what she just got like massive i think uh, that must be the power of the shoot S the suit i mean uh distorted future is what she says what or maybe that might be uh, i don't know yeah okay yeah and she's swinging like some sort of giant she's just swinging a pole at vegapunk right now and he's saying bonnie stop this even if you kill me timely thrust I, what are the names of these moves? What? <laughs> I'm surprised she came up with names of these moves, even though they're, like, using the suit. She, like, thrust him in the stomach. Pa what? <laughs> I just... I just have to take in so much. Okay, so she stabs him with, like... She, like, thrusts the pull at him. And then it, it, like, pops his belly. But then just, like, stars and hearts and, like, bubbles and stuff come out. And then he turns into a baby. What? Okay, wait. I guess I have to keep going. Um, Dagnabbit. I suppose these shiny doodads are a manifestation of the years I just lost. What? You've turned into an help... Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. It was Bonnie's power. Uh, I don't know. That's like... That's already two times right after each other that I forgot. Okay, Bonnie's power. She can change people a people's ages. Feeling like an idiot right now. Okay. Give me back my golden years. Oh, and it turned him... Okay, and, like, it turned his years of it years into, like, shiny gems or something? Is that what I'm seeing? Okay. Calm down. My power doesn't last forever on living things. Okay, that's that's good information for us to hear. Just any, th any little information about how someone's devil fruit works is good. Okay. She, like, lifts him up and she's asking, uh, You said you had a reason... Well, you better start talking. Why'd you kill my father? But Bonnie, if I tell you... Okay, and then we get cut off. Of course. Oh, but we're getting... Okay, never mind. I'm fine with getting cut off because we're going to Redport where Kuma is. Okay. Look, Kuma's trying to climb the red line. There's no way he'll make it all the way to the top. If I divulge the reason... It, okay, never mind. We're still getting information. If I divulge the reason, it would only serve to hurt you. That's why I can't... I promised Kuma that I would keep his secret... From you no matter what and we're just seeing kuma climbing up the red line i don't know what his plan is probably just to 
attack Majoa. Uh, I don't know what else he'd be doing. Uh, Bonnie's still yelling at uh, Vegapunk, saying, You can't tell me. Why did you kill my dad? Do I look like I was born yesterday? Stop screwing around. I'm not trying to pull a fast one here. You've got to believe me. Nobody made the decision for him. Kuma chose that fate for himself. You liar. Dad would never choose to die and abandon me. I'll kill you. It's been hard for me too. I wish I could forget the whole ordeal. Kuma's an incredible man. I've always been proud to call him my close friend. Bunny, please understand. I can't say anything more on the matter. Ah, I was really hoping we'd get more information, but I, I don't know. Maybe we will, but just spit it out. I'm I'm not going to blindly swallow your excuses. Yeah, this is child abuse. <laughs> Technically, yeah. She's just throwing this child around. Okay. Be, be, be. Bonnie, wait, pay no attention to what's over there. It's got, what? It's got nothing to do with K Kuma, you hear? Oh, it's, oh, it's the Seraphim thing. It, that's obviously a lie. Oil breakdown. What? Is that her power? I guess, maybe, yeah, if she can age things. I, I don't remember if we've seen her be able to age things, but anyway. Bonnie. Oh, what is this? I thought it was the seraphim. It's a, it's like a giant paw. I can't tell what exactly it is. It might... I don't know. Oh, fuck. Okay. We're, oh, we're getting into flashback now. Memories? That's right. A scientist out in West Blue once postulated that a person loses 21 grams of mass upon death and, and that it could be considered the weight of their soul. Fascinating, isn't it? If nothing else, such a link would prove that the soul does exist, does in fact exist, okay? This is something we technically knew before, because, like, uh, Brooke has a soul, but it is interesting. Um, okay, so, uh, Dr. Vegapunk continues on and says, uh, and your power can take something intangible like pain and give it to a physical form. Not only that, but you can even transfer it to others. A total wireless transmission of nerve signals. So I'm wondering if that same logic can be applied to uh, to other nervous s signals. We can determine whether things like imagination and memories have mass and volume as well. So you want to, so you want me to pull out my own memories and show you? That's far too personal. Please. Also, I I don't know why I didn't bring this up earlier. I I like the way, uh, the I almost said older, but like the back then kuma looks i don't know he doesn't look like too much different from now but i don't know i feel like the way he looks uh that's far too personal please it will help me advance science nobody else would see them i promise no please i'm begging you oh wait so is that like okay wait wait don't touch that bonnie okay we're back in present i'm sure you're familiar with kuma's powers there's nothing there but pain it's more than enough to kill someone no Okay, wait, is that actually, that's like all of his memories probably or something like that. Or like if they were able to actually take out his soul or something. But I don't know what the logic is. Right, he would, I guess he wouldn't be able to still be alive if they took out his soul. But uh, shoot him down. Don't let him get to Mary Joy. Joyce. I still don't know how to pronounce that. But I know my father's ability all too well. Seize him. Oh, okay, direct hit. He actually fell off. Okay. He, make sure you finish him off. He's still alive. All civilians, please evacuate. He seems to be holding on pretty well, though. So I'm not too worried about him. His memories are here, aren't they? Oh, she's reaching out for that. What would... I don't even know what would happen. Would she just get all of his memories? That doesn't... That'd be way too weird. So... <laughs> uh, so, egg, egghead labo stratum. What? Rob Lucci... Really made it all the way up here? My apologies. The system malfunctioned. I completely forgot. Also, we don't know who the guy uh, Vigapunk called up is. And I want to see that. And we don't know who turned off the, the like, the the defense force, whatever things. The the defense system. Security system. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same guy that Vigapunk called up. So he turned him off for some reason. I think he said that. My memory's really bad. But I think... I don't know. Uh, it's a good thing... Uh, uh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a good thing Zoran Brooks stayed on the ship. There's no way he, they'd lose. Even if it's a two against three, they'll figure something out. Uh, okay. 
No, look again. The battle is far more lopsided than you think. What? Okay, yeah. All all this seraphims, I genuinely don't I don't think they can win this at all. Uh those seraphim things are there too. It's two against seven now, and they're up against the best of the best. They called in backup while the barrier was down? No, I doubt CP0 ordered them directly. Uh, the Seraphim are able to assess combat situations, and they're equipped with some limited decision-making capability of their own. So they choose to capitalize on the barrier going down. We didn't order them to come. It's not like we can make them go back now. The dome is operational again. Okay. Uh, the enemies made a serious miscalculation. Now that they're uh, up here, we can turn the Seraphim back on our side. Since we're higher in the command hierarchy. Oh, I. There's a lot going on in this arc. I keep forgetting about things like that. Okay. We have uh, Lilith and uh, Pythagoras. I think that's the little guy. I don't remember. The little Vegapunk. Um, and he's saying, uh, that's it. Wait. Oh, wait. That was them talking about before about the command hierarchy. Uh, that's assuming we get there in time to holler our orders at him. Till then, they're still a huge threat. I'll be back. Uh, uh, I'll be back. Lickety split. Uh, hopefully, those two can hang in there. Ooh, I'll go to he. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it to you two then, Edison. L okay, yeah, it's Edison. Uh, Pythagoras is like the very like like the robot looking guy. The guy that very much looks like a robot. And he has the giant like uh winding thing. Yeah, wind key. Get up, okay. I'll leave it to you too then, Edison Lilith. Get off your high horse. To think Mosshead would croak right when the One Piece is in our sides. You go too. This threat is, affects the whole crew. Nami's orders are absolute for the... Uh, wait. Are absolute for the... Oh, he's saying like... Okay, yeah. Whatever, it's a dumb joke. He's saying like he's a seraphim and Nami's in the hierarchy and she has control over him. It's very... Uh, still, why do I have to save him? Don't screw around. Uh, swirl with him. Very epic, Vern, Frankie. You see, now when Frankie does it, it's a much better joke. Uh, this is serious. Uh, okay. Okay, now we're, we're looking at Zoro and Brooke. What's that supposed to be? Well, he's meant to be a giraffe, but he seems a little different from what I remember. Oh. Okay, I did see a bit down. I think he has his awakening. Not that it matters. He's going to wind up diced up, up a diced up corpse either way. That's if you can cut me, Roronoro. Look after the ship, Brooke. Understood. Oh, yeah. Brooke wasn't even there for any lobby. He doesn't know any of these guys. Nose gun. And he, he does this thing where he, like, extends his neck. And he has... Yeah, it's definitely an awakening from what I see. And he has hockey, which is, I mean, kind of expected him to at this point. Giraffe Man Gyro. What in the world? Now he's spinning around. Uh, I had my fill fighting critters with zigzagging attacks back in Wano. I'm tired of it. Oh, yeah. And Zoro. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they're going to have a huge trouble with these guys. With CP0. Uh, I'll save it for the end. But uh, Seraphim. Quickly before Vegapunk gets here. Destroy the Labo Stratum. Okay. Uh, this is bad. They're going to now and not and not annihilate the lab. Okay, jeez, I'm tripping over my words. Oh yeah, okay. They just laid absolutely destruction to it. <laughs> is that holy crap? Okay. 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 They sure know how to razzle dazzle. They're basically doing our job for us. Hmm. Sean, wait. What is that? Is that Lilith? Huh, you. Ku -ku -ku Kaku. What in the world is going on? What are you doing? Oh, that's. That's Stussy. What in the world? And she has like bat wings. Who, me? I'm just putting him to sleep. Oh, she. Okay, wait. She bit him. Would you please join him, Luchi? I think it's time for you. For your catnap, too. Clone of Miss. Ooh. Clone of Miss Buckingham Stussy of the Rocks Pirates. <sighs> Mad's first successful clone, Unit 01 Stussy. What in the world? I That's like the last thing I was expecting. Okay. 
I, what? Okay. Yeah, so she has some sort of vampire power or something. She's a clone of someone from the Rocks Pirates, which is crazy. Okay. Okay, before when I said there was something I wanted to say, and I'll leave it to the end of the chapter, I was just going to say, I, I don't think Miss Dries will have a huge trouble with it, but I've been hearing so many people say like, oh, you know, Luchi and Taku, they were like pre-time skip villains. They're, you know, they're easy. And I don't really understand people's logic because just like the, how the Straw Hats get stronger, other people get stronger. Like, obviously, they're in CP0. They must be stronger. I don't know why people think <laughs> think everyone else except the Straw Hats can get stronger. I don't know. I don't think they're going to be that difficult, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. But yeah, Stussy's a clone from someone in the Rocks Pirates. I don't know what else to say. I'm having a hard time figuring out. Okay, yeah, we find out more about uh, Kuma. Those are his memories in there. Bonnie was reaching out for him. I don't know what's going to happen. Does she just, like, have all of his memories? If she has all of his memories, she would, like, be Kuma. Because your memories, like, are who you are, so it doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't think I have too much to say. <laughs> I have like a lot of thoughts, but I don't have, I don't know how to get them out for this chapter because there's a lot. There's a lot and like not enough to really do enough with it. Kaku has his awakening. That's pretty cool. But Stussy has some sort of vampire fruit. That's what I can tell. She was like, she bit him, sucked his blood. She has like blood on her mouth. So yeah, I, I think Stussy was someone I saw in that whatever, like, it was like a thumbnail of a video at the beginning of this video and I was saying I was somewhat spoiled when I saw a character, but then I forgot. I think it was Stussy. So, yeah. Okay, I don't know. I don't think I have anything else to say, so, uh, uh, please comment on this video. I love to see comments. Uh, please save the blobfish and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.